everyone, it's Marissa from Carolina Tiger Rescue and we are going to chat today a little bit about rescue. We tend to get a lot of questions about how the animals get here and where they come from and while every individual animal story is different, their transports are pretty standard. So all of our small cats, like our bobcats and servals and caracals, regardless of the situation they are coming from, we can transport them in a large dog crate similar to what you might use for your pets at home. Now the big cats, you are not going to put them in a crate that you're going to get from the local pet store. And so we have made our own transport crates as have other sanctuaries like us across the country. And so we are going to check out our quarantine building in a few minutes and check out what those crates look like. Now sometimes we have years of notice where we can prepare to regard, uh, depending on the situation, but sometimes it's literally a phone call that says, hey, can you come get this animal? It is in need and we need you to come get it tomorrow. So our team is always ready to go uh, for whatever the situation might be. So if you're ready to check out quarantine, let's go see. So another one of the big questions that we get regarding transport is how we actually get the animals here. And the answer to that, is these transport crates. So these transport crates are made out of aluminum and they're incredibly heavy. It takes a serious effort for six of us to move them uh, completely empty without a four to 600 pound animal inside of it. Uh, but these are the ones that we have made on site. It's not something you're gonna pick up at the local pet store. And other facilities like us have their own versions of these same transport crates. And so whether it's an animal that we're transporting or another sanctuary is transporting for us, they're all going to be in similar types of um, transport units to get the animals safely right, to their new home like here wolf at wolf Carolina wolf Tiger wolf Rescue. Wolf. And so they are loaded in. This part here is actually a door and lifts straight up. You can see it's latched to keep it in place because right now it is actually connected to our quarantine building. And we have shift gates that this connects directly to against the wall. And you'll notice it's got doors on both sides. And so what we'll do is we'll get this in place right in front of the shift gate into quarantine. And we can lift this gate up, open the interior gate to quarantine, and the animal can just go right inside into uh, the quarantine building. And so that's how we're able to move the animals safely um, from wherever they are to here at Carolina Tiger So Rescue. once each animal has completed their 30 days of quarantine and all of their blood work has come back clean, then our team relocates them from the quarantine building into their large natural outdoor habitats filled with enrichment every single day, den boxes to stay out of the weather, stay cool in the summer, stay warm in the winter, and all of the respect and proper care that these animals deserve for the remainder of their lives here at Carolina Tiger Rescue.